This is the Doctor, continuing the Battle Brothers playthrough. Uh, we just killed some Alps. I reorganized my company so that uh, the men actually look like, you know, real mercenaries. And let's head on to the next town, get some more contracts. I really want a noble war contract. What was this again? Caravan? Eh. And there was a rumor about, I think, some sort of... Um, what was it? Well, there was a rumor about something to the north. Let's go to Kobamanhaven. Let's see what sort of contracts we can get here. Deliver. Hofslag. That's a lot of money. Maybe. What's this? Greedy Hearts Hideout. North of here, at or near the region of Nauheim. Some way to the north. I think that's a brigand camp. Some way north, yep, yep. Um Beauty Hard Side Out, yeah, I know that. Alright. Let's think about this. We're obviously headed north. Offslog is all the way over there. I guess. The problem is there aren't any other good contracts. There's one about air escorting a caravan there. Don't really want to do it. I just remember that town didn't give us anything good. That town has more Alps. I suppose we could fight, but for such crappy pay, um, it's better to just go out into the wilderness. Now, we could accept... What's our relationship with this uh, Kobam Hagen town? And it's no noble contract. Neutral. So we could accept the contract to scout out the location. But for 300 crowns and a piddling amount of experience, it doesn't even really seem worth the bother. Uh, what I think we should do is head north, get that, uh, basically explore. Head north, kill that greedy hearts, hideout, whatever. Head this way. We know there's a camp here. Then we might circle back around to Hawkdorf or Maidling or Finsterweller. One of these towns, try to get ourselves some more contract, even Molstad. I wouldn't do the noble contract, but we could do some merchant contracts. Um, I need to hit up also a weaponsmith. Where is there a weaponsmith? Oh, okay, all the way up there. I might hit that. Hard to say. There's a weaponsmith here. It could, like, respawn. I guess there was a reason to escort the caravan if I had more money. Because you can respawn, like, a famed weapon or something. You want to start rolling on those. Hmm. Kind of makes me actually want to go do that caravan escort. We don't have enough money, though. We have some random stuff we can sell off. But I don't think it's going to be enough. So, I'm not going to accept that 300 crowns. Because 300 crowns doesn't even mean anything significant. I'm going to kill the Greedy Hearts hideout. Somewhere to the north. And then we're going to head this way. That's what it is? Beater gangers, really? I mean, it's a lot, but this is free experience. So we should put in the characters who we desperately need experience on. Kind of want to put in my tank here. Having another tank will be huge. Wish I had some better cleavers as well. The spear is going to do work here. As will the archers.
them come forward. I suppose a second spear would not have been amiss. Get on the hill. It's going to end everyone's turn. They can't even get up to me yet. These guys can, but I'm not super worried. Wait for them to get closer, man. This character can just pass. None of them can even rush up to you. I suppose it doesn't actually make sense to shoot the other side, thanks to the spearmen. Not really anything to say right now. Yeah, that 18% bite. Very scared. Nice shot. That must have been a headshot. Let's uh, let some of these other zombies get closer. Ow. Really? Nice. Let's wait for some more of them to get in so we can AOE them. Oh, these zombies are clever. Ow. Hmm, can't actually AoE. Might as well indomitable here. Gonna hit that guy. Can move up, but he can't move up and attack. Oh wait! Oh right, right. They don't have enough AP. What am I? What am I worried about?
There's nothing to comment on in this fight. You didn't get a nice helmet out of it. And the uh, experience definitely does not suck. These rows are so bad. <sighs> I worry about your ability to use Rally, but... What are you going to do? We still, like, you're still going to be better than that monk. Got to find you some nice famed, like, something like this. We definitely need to get you to around 75 fatigue. You'll be fine as long as you have 75 fatigue. Can, like, free up your inventory a little bit. You'll be okay. You'll be all right. Oh, the zombies are afraid of us. Don't see any reason to change my strategy. Oh, did I not have the... Um... No, I do have reset equipment. Eh. All right. Nope, I'm not going to skip everyone's turn. I'll just skip some characters' turns. It is quite hilarious to see some of these Vita Gingers with Battleforge and, like, no armor. This guy with his sackcloth and Battleforge. Very amusing. You got another war bow as well. Yeah, they can get up to me now. Wait for them to come closer, man. I might actually advance on these zombies. Nah, let's stick to formation. Although it would be very tempting to go up in AoE though. You know what? Let's do it. Whoa! I almost hit my own guy there. Got very lucky. Not do it. That was a mistake. I'm playing this fight like so sloppy. But it is a pretty easy fight, so it doesn't really matter. How much was that headshot? 99 damage. Damn, that's impressive. I wonder if that's a bug. Like, that Vader Ganger seems like it should be um, blocking, but.
There we go. That was pretty satisfying. Pretty satisfying. I was really hoping that would hit, but... Just proactively recover. Top striker is a monster. Probably should have unequipped my uh, shield there. Oh, definitely should have unequipped my shield then. Nine percent. Ninety percent miss. I love it. Please gain more missing. You see, there's a quick hands icon, meaning you have the ability to use it. Man, Athletic is so useful on certain types of terrain. This character moved and took... Was, uh, his fatigue was only... He spent only two fatigue doing that. That's incredible. No fatigue. So why am I even using archers here? The main reason for that fight was, again, the experience. It's basically free experience. I'm not going to turn that down when my company still needs tons and tons of it, including a character who's going to be a tank and who leveled up. Beautiful rows here. Four, three. If you're going to be a dedicated tank, I would... Well, oh, but... Like, even if you somehow miraculously max row melee skill, you would end up with 82, which is frankly quite pathetic. I like the resolve here, because you're not... Like, you only have a one-third chance of getting plus four resolve, 
Uh, whereas you have a one half chance of getting plus three melee, we might up melee a little bit to help with like breaking out nets and stuff. But I'm not gonna pass up that uh that nice resolve roll there. Ooh, battle forge on this character, our primary tank. Again, let's get you a little more HP, which is quite relevant against like uh, ancient priests and whatnot. You also don't have steel brow right now. We're going to get you Steel Brow. If you're a truly dedicated tank, I feel like you need Steel Brow. Um, well, you could also go for Indomitable. But I think next what we're going to get is Taunt on this. But Battle Forge, of course. Um, that's a critical tanking perk. I actually think Underdog is less important than Battle Forge. The more I play, the more I feel like Underdog is definitely extremely strong. Uh, but you don't have to pick it right away. And certainly on the tank, when you're going to get surrounded by, like, five guys, you need underdog. There's no question about that. Ooh, a beast, perhaps. Now is the point of the game where if there are, like, eight onhos here, I'm going to kill them. 26 webnecks. Let's murder some webnecks in the next video. Thank you for watching. Until next time.